Hey, it's Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews. Welcome to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews. From Oddball Brewing of Suncook, New Hampshire, this is their brand new release. It is the Sandman Stout, an oatmeal stout with an alcohol by volume of 5.7% ABV. This is my hometown brewery. Never thought I'd see the day where I could say I have a hometown brewery, but as I mentioned in my earlier review of one of their beers, they are about three blocks from my home. So I'm getting their stuff right off, you know, right out of the fermenter. This is uh, was uh, bottled yesterday. So, uh, so I'm going to be checking this one out, and um, they've got a couple of nice brews coming their way. The brewery itself, Oddball, run by a couple of friends, they opened up uh, about a month and a half ago. It has not been all that long. They've already put out three interesting beers, and I've reviewed two of them here on YouTube, and those of you who subscribe to my NEBR Facebook page, you will have seen one of my reviews of one of their beers there. So... Keep that in mind if you're checking out Facebook, look for NEBR, and you might see some reviews that I do exclusively for Facebook. So let's pour it into this glass. Again, it was just bottled yesterday. Today's Friday. It was bottled on Thursday. And we're giving it a pour. Okay, there it is. Oops. Uh, into this rather non-distinctive glass, but I like the shape, and I bought it at the dollar store. So take a look. Dark brown in color, near black, but mainly dark brown. It really is dark brown with this uh, off-white sort of mocha light tan head up top. Just a small one, uh, but not a bad little head, but uh, really the dark brown is the color, as you can see. Aroma now. This really has a lot of uh, dark characteristics. It does have that oatmeal feel to it, and it also has this kind of... Uh, dark chocolate, you know, sort of a sweet dark chocolate character. Not milk chocolate, but more like the, the Hershey's dark chocolate, you know. A low hop profile, low to no hop profile. But really I'm getting a nice dark malt sweetness with the, with the oatmeal, um, you know, the cooked oatmeal in here as well. And kind of a, kind of a toasty character as well. Like a charcoal kind of character, maybe. But uh, the chocolate is a little more predominant as well, as I already mentioned. So it's got a lot of characteristics you would expect in this type of beer. So let's check out the taste. The body is on the light side, and I was under the impression they did that on purpose. Uh, because they didn't want the oatmeal to taste, uh, they didn't want the body or the texture of the body to be kind of like eating oatmeal you know, for breakfast, uh, you know, that kind of thick, chewy sort of character you get when you cook up a bowl of oatmeal. So the body tends to be on the lighter side, uh, light to medium, but more light, I'd say. Easy to drink. The taste, the taste on this has a good, again, the same sort of oatmeal flavor. It also has a, a bit of a, the chocolate seems a little more reserved in the flavor than it tasted or than it, arose, than it felt on the nose. Our IBUs, IBUs are in the uh, low 40s so there's not a big bitterness here but there's just enough of a bitter balance to kind of take this sweet oatmeal and milk chocolate character and give it a bit of a slight bite at the end to bring it to kind of a dry finish. Mm, very easy drinking beer. But definitely the oatmeal, I'd say, is, it is an oatmeal stout, so I'd say the oatmeal tends to be more predominant in both the aroma and in the taste. That has that unique sort of cereal oatmeal. You know, oatmeal has a certain taste. I mean, I'm a big fan of oatmeal. Sometimes in the winter months, I'll have it for breakfast. So, but a very smooth body, too. Uh, light, as I said, but kind of smooth. Uh, definitely not acidic or astringent in any way. Head doesn't stay on too long, but you know, to me, the head is is a is a is. I like the head a lot. I like looking at a heady beer, but I'm also kind of really concerned or concerns not the right word, but I'm always more interested in how the flavor is going to be. Hmm. So, a decent beer. This is their third offering. I've had all three, and so far they've put out some beer that's uh, pretty good for a brewery that's just only six or so weeks old. And I'm hoping that they, uh, 
I'm sure they're going to come back with their second batches and we're going to see, uh, you know, maybe some changes, some tweaks perhaps to kind of bring it into, uh, you know, bring out some new flavors. So, uh, this is a, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the next set of beers. They told me they've got coming out soon. Uh, they've got an IPA that was, uh, that's, the yeast was pitched. So that'll be coming out soon. They had a double IPA before, but they've got a regular IPA coming out. They're going to be doing a Gosa. Uh, I don't see that too often. And so I'll be interested in seeing how that comes out. That will be coming up soon as well. So they're looking to play around, try out some new different styles, or maybe not new styles, but just try an array of styles just to see, uh, you know, how things go. So I'm looking forward to continuing to try the brews from Oddball Brewing of Suncook, New Hampshire. And that'll do it for now. This is their Sandman style. So thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.